All right, everyone. So today we're going to start off by actually fixing our death method, um, which is yeah, right here. So it'll say when someone dies after the health is now equal to this. So what we say we want to do basically this statement right before we say if they die and what that will do is actually just the exact same thing as if they didn't die but then also say that they died and what we should also do is say return one which will we will then use uh, somewhere else so return zero if uh, they did not die so we're going to use this in the loop down here in the like attack phase and we'll say that if either of these end up equaling zero, then uh, we will break the loop so it will not continue to like attack that person. So we can do this in a few ways. Um, first off, we need to make in a couple integers. So we'll say c is equal to zero and c is e or and k is equal to zero, and those will just be the initials for characters. Um, we could also, like, in an actual environment, just use some basic placeholder. Um, integers that are normally used are i and j in loops and stuff like that, so those would be something you typically see. Then we can set uh, c equal to Chris and k equal to Kurt. Now, before we actually do those, we want to say if k or, or c or k Let's actually fix it this way. C is equal to 1 or K is equal to 1. Then we want to say, uh, or we want to actually just break. And then we'll have an else statement, which will actually just 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. Um, we'll just use those uh, initials there. So, make it look cleaner like this. There we go. Make it look all nice. A couple of those so you guys can see it better. And so, yeah, we'll go over this one more time. If either of these are equal to 1, which is going to happen if one of these guys dies, then it's going to break the loop and it will stop. And then it will go um, it will go down to this else statement if neither of these um, are zero or are one. So if both characters are still alive, it will continue to attack with them. So what we're going to actually do down here is say print. Well, we'll say. Hmm. Okay. So let's do it this way. We're going to make another method that will be a part of the class, that will be like separate from the classes. I didn't want to say a part because then it would say like a part of, and I'm very bad at that. Anyways, <laughs> avoiding my poor English, define win, and then that will take char1, comma, char2. So it'll just take two characters, and we'll say if char1 is greater than char, or if char1 dot health is greater than char two dot health. Then print percent s has one, and then else print percent s has one. And we'll actually there's a better way to do this. We'll make a variable. Um, in these if and else statements, so we'll say if char one, then we'll say uh, winner is equal to char one dot name. Else winner is equal to char two dot name. And then apart from those statements, we'll say print percent s has one, and then percent winner. So that way it will give us the name of the winner. And so then right here we'll actually call the method. And I called it win, right? I have a very short short memory. 
uh, I've discovered today. So Chris and Kurt will be the ones passed. And let's just make sure that we're everything's right up here. So we compare their healths. If character one is higher than the other one, which one of these oh, one of these two will be equal to zero at, um, at the time that this is called. So the winner will be um, this guy if this one's equal to zero or the other one. Um, we could just directly, we could even just say if character two's health is equal to zero, then winner is equal to character one. Else. Uh, winner equals character 2 but it, it doesn't really matter either way um, the comparison is probably going to be just as fast or just as slow uh, other than that I think we're ready to test and see if this works so F5 and we get Chris has lost 0 health attack successful, Kurt lost 7 yada 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 we follow it down Kurt has died so Chris won as he should have, he had more health he was a higher level therefore his attack was greater um, as defined by this character class right here. Now, as kind of like an extra credit thing for these classes, I want to see if you guys, um, well, I'm sure you guys can do it. I want to see what code you guys would create for uh, making a leveling system. That's the word I was looking for. So, I want to see what kind of code you guys would make to create a system so that when someone dies, the other character that was involved in that battle gets experience from it and then gets closer to their next level, which would then increase their uh, their level, their health, and <clears throat> their attack. Uh, so yeah, if you guys um, have any questions or comments about this entire program or lesson or whatever, uh, let me know. Furthermore, you could also actually define this as a function. So actually, yeah, let's do that before we... Uh, we leave this uh, video. So this will take character one and character two. Um, we need these variables in there, but we're going to use some different ones for it. So we'll say uh, i is equal to zero and j is equal to zero. And then we just need to indent each one of these. And so this, what this will do is allow us to attack with each character. But instead of Chris and Kurt, we're going to replace each one of these with char1 and char2. So that way it's a uh, dynamic function and we can use it with any character rather than just two objects. So uh, J will be equal to that one and I will be equal to that one. And then we can say... Um, char1 and char2. So yeah, what this will do is allow us to call the fight function with any characters we want and we can represent this by fight um, Kurt and Chris. The reason I pause is because I actually just had another idea. Wow, okay. So what we can do is actually get rid of this for loop right here and just say while j is not equal to 1 and I is not equal to 1 then do all this. So we can get rid of the, these two if statements or conditional statements I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4 unindent these. 1, 2, 3, 4 and now we can attack um, each other and actually have this in a more efficient way in a more readable way. So as long as neither one of these are uh, greater than zero, as long as neither one of them are one, which is re returned by someone dying, it will continue to have them fight. And this prevents the <coughs> this prevents the problem that the last function had, where we were doing it for a set hundred times. Because neither if neither one of them died in that hundred times, neither one of them would have zero life. So I kind of retract my statement that I said earlier that when we were comparing in the uh, win state, the win function, that one of these would be zero. Uh, so the other way I mentioned would not have worked unless you rewrite the uh, fight function to do this instead of uh, using a for loop of a hundred. So let's actually test this just to make sure it works one last time. 
and there we yeah there you go so um Kurt has died Chris has lost zero health so Chris won and that's the end of it if you guys have any questions or comments on the video the lesson or anything like that just let me know um, back to the challenge I had for you guys as well if you do do that so if you if you make some code that implements a leveling system you can take a video of it and explain what it does and I will uh, put it in the comment or not the comment section I will make sure it gets into the video responses below and then if you guys just want to give me the code um, I'll just link to like pastebin or code pad or whatever you guys use to post the code and uh, then say something at the end of the video so people so like right around here you'll just see anyone's code that they have posted on uh, leveling anyways thank you guys for watching <laughs> sorry this was so long winded if you have any questions or comments again leave them in the comment section below or PM me uh, if you want to see future videos feel free to subscribe like the video if you liked it um, sharing it helps a lot and also if you guys would like um, all my videos will also be posted on lawofcode.com the link will be in the description below that is my new website which essentially does the same thing that my youtube channel does but i also have um, a feedback feedback page on there that you can just give me general feedback about videos as well as an article page which will be updated as regularly as possible when something interesting happens uh, in the tech world I'll write something there and give it to you guys or just on topic that I find interesting uh, there's some stuff in there that's not news related and then there's a news uh, section which I will probably be taking out very soon uh, because the articles kind of replace that purpose anyways thank you guys for watching and I'll be seeing you later bye